Hello everyone! Welcome to Contemporary Philippines Art from the Region. So I am Miss April Joy Lariosa and I will be teaching you contemporary art for this semester. Okay, so first and foremost, we are going to, or I am going to ask you the question, what is art? So that is a very simple question, but it requires a definite or a broad rather a broad meaning so it will always depend on how you how you perceived it now what is art so maybe some of you might say art mom is showing love or art is seeing beauty in everything in it even garbage even dumpsters even the ugliest thing in the world is considered as an art now, some of you might say art is expressed through music, through dance, or even through writing poetry. So there are various or wide range of definition of art. But the Greek philosopher Aristotle may have provided the earliest assumptions of art as linked to human instincts. So according to him, ang art de kono instincts na de kono na nato sa nato mga humans so according to him he claimed that humans have instincts for imitation and harmony so he described that these instincts are lying deep in our nature so na anajud da ekono ni nato he argued that human beings are the most imitative of living creatures and through imitation, humans learn and experience pleasure. So according to him, makita day kuno sa usa ka tao ang ang art because it is instinct nato. The what we see, we're going to imitate what we're going to see, and then. Through imitation, we learn to experience the true pleasure. There, therefore, art then may be defined as a human pursuit to imitate life and the world into something pleasing or beautiful. And even sa pinaka worst or pinaka ugliest creature or ugliest thing that you can see in the world, it will always be considered as an art or beautiful right so as you can see i have here a picture now what have you noticed from this picture i want to i want you to look into it and try to see what you have observed what can you see in this picture yes ma'am i can see clouds i can see ocean sand there are two people over there carrying a surfboard maybe they are going to surf now how about the colors i can see different colors i can see violet i can see blue i can see a black white brown yellow orange so i can see the different colors in it picture so the picture is an attempt at imitating the beach and its surrounding thus becoming it a subject so therefore kung unsa ni kuno tong atong makit-an sa atong mga mata and would then we try to imitate it using a picture then that is what we called the subject the way the colors are chosen and blended into the canvas accounts for the medium of the painting or the picture so whatever color you decide to put in it that is uh, what we called the medium so my medium ninja or na manager medium mom uh, pastel colors og ijanggi ko ano mga pastel colors nga mahimo jang nindot or something like that so the medium and the subject again the subject becomes the picture wherein it was imitated from something. Put the colors or put the blended colors into the canvas, canvas accounts for the medium. So these two are 
two important elements of an artwork that allows a person to experience life, the world, and its beauty. So, silang duha importante kaadyo, subject and the medium. So, there are different forms of artistic expression. One is the picture. Picture is a two-dimensional image of various subjects, ranging from real-life images to visual abstract. So, it may be created using different media such as chalk, charcoal, graphite, ink, oil paint, and watercolor. Okay, so an example of picture is kanina. So that is a two-dimensional image of various subject. Then we have the sculpture. So sculpture, this is a three-dimensional artwork that may be created using tone, marble, wood, and concrete. So I know that all of us have seen a sculpture na. Because mo gamit when it comes to uh, mga sacrilegious images. So ang gipang gamit ni ja is uh, tone, marble, wood, and concrete. Then we have architecture. So these are structures that are meant to be used as shelter. So the art of architecture relies on the design and purpose of the structure. So for example, the buildings, we have here our homes, uh, gymnasiums, and so on and so forth. Then we have music. This is art form that appeals to the sense of hearing. So music is composed by combining notes into harmony. Then we have the literature. This is the art form of language through the combined use of words creating meaning and experience. So through the use of language, let's say for example, writing novels, short stories, creating poems. So that is an example of art form of language. Then we have the theater. This is the art form of performance. So dramatic texts are portrayed on stage by actors and actresses and are enhanced by props, lights, and sounds. So if you have watched the Ang Huling El Bimbo, so that is an example of theater. Though dili laman siya live. Oh, this is a live na you have seen it on the actual. But since it was converted or translated into a techno te technological translation, then therefore, that is cinema. So, this art form is technological translation of theater. So, kung unsay ilang gi portray in a theater, when you use it in a form of technology, then therefore, that is already a cinema. So, in film, special effects are utilized to enhance the storytelling. So, mga nang daghan ng mga power-power, kumakita ta, and malingaw ta, o tanaw. Then, the last uh, form is the dance. So, this is the art form of human form. The body is used, mobilized, and choreographed in, in a specific time, form, and space. So, those are the forms of artistic expression. Now, I have here two pictures, and I want you to see, and I want you to uh, put it in your mind, what have you observed from the two pictures? The first picture is Palay Maiden, painted by Fernando Amunsolo. And the second picture is La, La Gioconda by Leonardo da Vinci. Or as what we know as the Mona Lisa. Right. So what have you noticed about the two pictures? Is there similarities? Or are they different? Oh, so let's try to see if they are similar. Yes, they are similar. They are the same portrait of a young girl. Smiling. Oh, muna nga gipaint si Ja. Oh, what else? Ang pareha ni Ja. The subject itself. The subject itself is the same. So what do you think are the difference between the two pictures? 
ang usamam na trabaho si Jaggy kan kay nanguha si Jog Palay ang usa naglingkod ra sa mo of like a royalty ang usa mam ubre ang usa dato o forma o, diba? so there are also differences between them okay so we will get back onto that because later on I'm going to discuss to you about this so many scholars debate on the identity of art produced by Filipinos so dagan ko nung mga scholars nagdebate kung ang atong mga art produced by Filipinos is considered a true Filipino art so this speculation and the Filipino-ness of works by the Filipino artists is caused by our colonial history and migrant reality so since the Ghanaman ang ni colonize sa Philippines from the Spaniards to the Chinese to the Americans to the Japanese ang culture put og art sa Philippines ni anam-anam pud og ka-adapt kung unsay gipang da sa mga colonizers. Therefore, makaingon pod ko no ang mga scholars nga di lagi ni si Jack true Filipino art. Kay it was, kay nga naman, it was imitated or it was imitated by the culture of the Spaniards, by the culture of the Chinese, and so on and so forth. So, the, the plethora of influences brought by the Spaniards, American, and other Asian countries has become part of our ident identity. That is evident in our art. So, makita ko nung sa itong art na kana si Ja, dili lang pure Filipino, but naanay sa gol. Oh, from the Latin country. So, mo dyan naigisigihan nilang debate. So, but according to Leo Benesa, a Filipino poet, atheist, and an art critic said that there is a certain characteristics of Filipino art na agihapoy characteristic ang usaka Filipino art that is considered Filipino. An art can be considered Filipino art when it depicts the Filipino way of living. So, mo na matud nga, yes, that is still a true Filipino art if, if ever, na ay true Filipino way of living and makita na to diha. Okay, now let's go back to the two pictures. Now let's see. Is uh, Fernando Amorsolo imitating the works of Leonardo da Vinci? Ni da Vinci? Nanundog baka siya? Baka ingon tanaw, probably, nga naman, pareha man na sila, baji, pareha nag-smile. So, if, if makakita kag ingana na, nga picture, of course, may unapok ka nga, ah, maghimu lamang kung ako, nga baji, gihapon. So, the subject is the same. Oh, but, according to Leo Benesa, how come nga true Filipino art man sa dyan? Because it has a Filipino way of living. Now, let's try to see ugun sa man ang atong makita. Nga Filipino, gano'n na siya. O, oh, sa ija pala mang background daan, which is the palay, is Filipino. Nagda si Jagsundang, Filipino. Sanina, Filipino. Itsura, Filipino, ang ilong Filipino, oh, di ba? So, the, the portrait itself is a true Filipino because it portrays a dalagang Filipina, nga way sa gol. Oh, so, muna ibot pasabot ni Leo Benesa. It is still considered a true Filipino art, kina amang good si Jai, a touch of Filipino art. Oh, lahit man ni Mona Lisa nga di siya ka makakita ng Filipino sa so, ija pala mga sanina daan it, it, I think it's the era of 1600s to 1700s, I don't know oh, unja taas pa yung ilong unja, ang saninaan palang daan it's some point of a royalty oh, so wa, why ka Filipino Filipino, but when it comes to the Palay Maiden it is considered as 
a Filipino because Pinoy ra nga baji ang mutabang sa ginikanan nga manghumay, manguan because it is in our culture. Oh, so muna ibot pa sa bot ni Leo Binesa. Alright. So, I am going ah, I have here some questions later on that you are going to answer about these two paintings. So, I want you to uh, see again the two pictures, these two pictures, and I want you to think. The first question is, what do these paintings share in common? And how differently did Amorsolo treat the subject and what makes a palay maiden truly Filipino? So, na ko ihatag ng question. Uh, makit anra later on, maybe sa atong page or asa pana. Basa kay, I have a question from these pictures, okay? So, I am going to talk about the art in contemporary times on the next video presentation, okay? So, thank you so much.